What's up guys? It's your girl M. And I'm back with another video for you today. And today I am making buffalo chicken dip. It is my favorite thing in life. I've got Abel over here licking the floor for some reason. Uh, my oven just preheated to 350, so it's all ready to go. And here are my ingredients. So I have some Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, salt, pepper. This is fully cooked shredded chicken. You can get it in your deli section. Um, I know they have some, they have like a grocery store brand and I'm sure they have like some rotisserie chicken shredded chicken if you don't want to like shred the chicken yourself or you don't want to buy shredded chicken in a can I'm not a huge fan of shredded chicken from the can but you can use that as well but I got this fully cooked shredded chicken I think it was like four bucks four or five bucks I've got Frank's Red Hot and I've got some ranch dressing and I've got an eight ounce block of cream cheese that's been out softening up. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my little pan here. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of butter. Just a tad. Maybe about a tablespoon of butter. Put that in there, let it melt. We'll move this over here. And then I have like a casserole dish because I'm going to cook this and kind of melt everything together right here on the stove. And then I'm gonna bake it. It's This is like one of the most simple recipes ever. I've loved buffalo chicken dip for years now. Buffalo chicken dip is like one of my favorite things. It's perfect for like Super Bowl parties, any kind of party. You can make it in a crock pot too. Um, but I, I like baking it. If you're doing it for a party, definitely do it in a crock pot because it's just like easier that way. And it stays warm and everything. So here's my chicken. And it's already seasoned, so that's cool. I got seasoned chicken, I guess. But you don't really need a lot of seasoning because you've already got the ranch, you've already got the hot sauce, you've already got, you know, sour cream, the cheese. You don't need that much seasoning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, ooh, this chicken <laughs> that stayed in its shape. <laughs> and kind of break it down into the butter. I want to use about like two cups. This is probably a little more than two cups, but that's okay because you know, you know me in this kitchen, I eyeball everything. I don't really do measurements unless I absolutely have to. So I'm gonna add some pepper. I got this pepper grinder today, which is exciting. Some salt. We're just gonna mix, 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 mix. Kind of break up the chicken. Once it gets a little hotter, I'm gonna add the cream cheese first because I really want the cream cheese to break down so here's the cream cheese I've been letting this soften it's been softening for uh, about 15 to 20 minutes so it's nice and soft and I'm gonna use the whole dang brick she's a brick of cream cheese. Do you guys know that song? She's a brick house or whatever. She's a brick house. But in this case, she's a brick of cream cheese. Turn this up a little bit. It's 
Let's melt. Operation Melt the Cream Cheese. which is easier said than done. But we're gonna get there, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Honestly, there's like a bunch of different recipes for buffalo chicken dip. You can, there are so many recipes out there. This is just a really simple one. You can add stuff to it, you can take stuff out of it, you can really do what you want. It's a preference thing. I'm going to add some ranch dressing until my soul tells me to stop. All right. Get a good mix in on that. I'm going to add the hot sauce. We are going to add the hot sauce. Ouch. We're gonna turn this down a little bit too. Okay, you know what? That was the dumb idea. We're gonna just take the lid off. Like I said, pour until your soul tells you to stop. So I just kind of like, I wing it obviously. But I just kind of like to test it out. If I added too much of the hot sauce, you can always add more ranch. You can add some more cream cheese, whatever. I think I did add a little bit too much of hot sauce, but you know, hey, it's gonna be good. Add just a little more ranch. A couple little squirts. Woo! Making a mash. Now I'm gonna take some of my cheese. I'm gonna do a couple handfuls. All right. Like I said, no measurements required. Just go with your gut. Trust your instincts. And now I'm just gonna kind of stir that in make sure the cheese gets nice and melted and like i said i have my oven preheated to 350. turn this down a little bit more i'm going to just add a little bit of cooking spray just for safe measure and i think it is looking good enough so pour in here. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of shake, 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 shake your dip, shake your dip, yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna take some more cheese. I'm just gonna put it on top. This is not for the weak. This is not for the faint of heart. All right? So now I'm just gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna let it kind of get ooey gooey, even more melted. And for about like 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. And then it'll be good to go. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. ASMR. It looks so good. I ended up keeping it in for like 15 actually maybe more like 20 minutes because I wanted it to get like a little crispier like I wanted the cheese to kind of form like a crust and it looks perfect but while I was uh letting this cook and bake I went to the mailbox to get the mail and I don't know if you
you remember this, but like uh, like a while ago, like a week or so ago, I was upset that a package hadn't been delivered to me and it said it was delivered. But then I looked today on the side of our mailbox, like I was just like, okay, let me be chill. It's probably just delayed. There's a technical error, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I checked the mailbox today and there's a sign on the side that says, on October 13th, the day that my package was supposed to be delivered, that the truck was robbed, that it was an armed robbery. And they're offering like $50,000 to anybody who has any information. And I'm like, well, that's my, pa my package is probably taken. So I don't know 100% sure, but like if you connect all the dots, like it makes sense. So I, I'm going to call Aerie Customer Service and just be like, hey, I think my mail truck was robbed. Like, is there anything we can do? Like, can you send me another shirt? Because I really wanted the shirt. Oh my gosh, it's insane. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, so my crop top, this is burning up and has like a fire on it, is now in the hands of a six foot tall, 200 pound man. What's he gonna do with my crop top? Like, geez Louise. Anyways, I made buffalo chicken dip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Oh, also, I have, I'm going to serve it with some tortilla chips. If you have some red, on, or not red onion, green onions, that, that would be really good, like, on top. But um, I forgot to get some, so... There it is. Be sure to follow my Twitter at MAnMan, my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And i am got to go lay down now. <laughs> I've been up for too long, so now I'm going to go lay down and chill and eat this buffalo chicken dip. And I'm going to be going live at like 9 o'clock with Lex. I love you guys. Mwah.